Hi friends, today I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can make napkin style prints to create your own decoupage paper. And if you don't have a Canva account yet, you can use my link below in the description box and get started today. So for this project, we're going to come up to the right hand corner, click on create a design, scroll down and hit custom size. I'm going to choose to create the design with a standard sheet of paper in landscape mode. The one that I'm going to show you today is going to be super simple. We're going to come over to Elements, click up in the search bar. I'm going to type in Watercolor Green Apples. I'm going to use one of the prints that they've already created. And this actually, to me, reminds me of beautiful fall napkin that you would find in the store. I want the print to be a little bit smaller. Du hit the Duplicate button, which is this little icon here. Scroll down and match up the design. Oh, we got a little line, so we're going to hit that nudge button. Right. It's going to make it just a touch longer. If it's matched up the way that you want it and we just want to duplicate it, you're going to highlight it and again click on the duplicate icon and it's already set for you. And again, line them up. Hit that one more time and then this will go off to the side and that'll be fine. Anytime that you're creating anything in Canva and you're using the elements, you have to alter them in order to use them for commercial use. So I will be putting this on my blog as a free principle. I want to make sure that I'm following the guidelines. All things that you can do, you could add text over them, add something up over the top of it. One of the things that I'm going to do is go up to elements i'm going to type in distressed see if we can't add in an aged look and you can make these any color that you want so if you wanted to whoop see what they would look like if they were like a brown i don't see the color that i'm looking for over here i'd like it to be a chocolate brown so we're going to come up to our color bar and see if we can't create one and find one and I think that looks good. That's kind of, and this is one of the ways you can add to your design. And it adds nice textures and layers very easily. Another thing that you can add is a text box. I'll keep it simple. I think I'm just going to type in the word apples. And okay, so I'm going to switch the font to the Beth Ellen. I think that has a little vintage -y vibe. With see if we can change the color of the font, maybe to go with that brown. So yeah, we'll stick with the brown because that's a little subtle. Now I am just hitting the duplicate button and I'm going down diagonally with the text box. I decide as I'm going through this part that I wanted to follow that diagonal line of those red apples. And I apologize that it's so hard to see, but you're just going to want to take your text and put it into some sort of a pattern. And that can be any pattern that you choose. So I think for this one, we're good to go. I'm going to come up and name it Apple Paper. I'm going to print it out right away. So I'm going to download it, add it as PDF print. So now you can really see the detail when it's blown up like this of the distress marks in there, which is really neat. You can print it out on brown paper bag, tissue paper, race paper. And here I printed it out on tissue paper and I'm going to be decoupaging this on to a project this Sunday. So be sure to check out my main channel for, for DIY and upcycle project ideas. Friends, thank you for joining me. I have a super blessed week and I will see you back here again next week.